Yeah. So from healthy bodies, we turn our attention to healthy minds. And this week, the 55th International Mathematical Olympiad is being held in South Africa for the very first time. With 108 students from over 100 countries gathered in Cape Town, this is definitely the World Cup of mathematics. Six young South African enthusiastic learners will rub shoulders with fellow learners from across the world and test their mathematical metal against some of the sharpest young minds on the planet. And as the International Mathematical Olympiad kicked off yesterday, we invited President of the South African Mathematics Foundation, Professor Engelbrecht, in studio to have a little chat with us. Professor, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Morning, really Ewan. appreciate it, and I uh, hope you're not too cold in this uh, this very icy Cape Town morning. I think it's better better here than in Pretoria, where I come from. Look, I do realize it's very cold up in the northern parts. Yes, let's talk about this International Mathematical Olympiad. Very, very exciting. Kicked off yesterday. What is this all about? Well, this is an exciting event. As you mentioned, first time on African soil yes. that we're hosting the International Mathematics Olympiad. And by the way, we have uh, almost 600 participants wow. uh, taking part representing 103 different countries. Sure. So these are, as you say, the, the focus of mathematics. If, uh, if you look at a, a blip of the earth, there will be a bright mathematical spark here in Cape Town at the moment. The best yeah. brains in the world are gathered here together. Yeah. Now, as it came to, uh, to our shores, what was the reaction of some of the students, I mean, taking part locally? I think everybody is very excited. We had the opening ceremony last night, which was spectacular. I, 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 you, you should have been yeah. there. It was great. <laughs> watching these youngsters walking across the screen, each country representing their countries. We, it was very exciting. And tomorrow, to this morning, they start with the first paper. N tomorrow morning, the second paper. Yeah. So uh, we are we're looking forward to see what yeah. happens. Now, this is, this is a big, big, we, we call it the, the World Cup of mathematics. Almost. Exactly. What was the selection process like as to who gets to enter? Quite stiff. It yeah. differs from country to country. In our country, we look at the performance in the National South African Mathematics Olympiad that is organized by mm. the South African Mathematics Foundation. And then we pick out the best and uh, expose them to a training program. Uh, they mm. attend camps at certain universities. And we look at all these uh, results. And in the end, the team is selected. So it's mm. very tough to get into the team. Yeah. And I think we have a good team this year. We do have. We have our six South Africans taking part. I want to ask you this. Something like the International Math Mathematical Olympiad, is it something that is growing in schools in terms of you know, just getting students more comfortable with maths? Because it's normally, if you think about something like this, it's geared towards maybe the more intellectual students. But what about the rest? Is this something that you guys are focusing on as well? Absolutely. In fact, I try to, to emphasize that Olympiads is not only for the bright, for the bright kids. It's meant for everybody. Mm. Our main objective is not necessarily to find winners, but to expose everybody. They wish we, we would like huge participation because the uh, taking part in Olympiads, yeah. you get some exposure to problem solving, which is very important. And in our current uh, mathematics curricula, there's hardly any mm. space for for problem solving. So mm. I would, I would uh, recommend all youngsters to yeah. take part in the uh, regional and uh, national Olympiads. Exactly. I want to ask you this. You touched on this just now. But, um, recently, statistics came out showing that the mathematical skill in South Africa is, is fairly shocking. Um, we can't hide that fact. But it's also proven that 15 of the highest earning university uh, careers have all one thing in common, and that is mathematics. What would you like to, to see done in South Africa to really raise the bar and prove the mathematical skill around students? I'm glad you touch on that because mathematics is becoming increasingly important in more and more careers. So we need more mathematics people. We need more youngsters that go into engineering, into computer, uh, co mm. computers and statistics. So as you mentioned, the, uh, according to some international measure, measuring criteria, it's not going that well with our maths yeah. education. Uh, perhaps the, the, the recent report is somewhat exaggerated, but rather than condemning the report, I'd like to, us to take note of what we get from that. And let's put in a concerted effort to change and improve the mathematics teaching situation in the country. Yeah. You asked for how. I don't know. There are three things that I could recommend. First of all, we need to raise the status of mathematics teachers. People, mm. Young people should want to become a mathematics teacher. Exactly. We want the best of the current generation yeah. to teach the next generation. Yes. Secondly, I think our curricula are very full. We need perhaps should start thinking about a second subject in, in mathematics 
for yeah. people that uh, that plan a uh, numerical university study, study program. Mm. And thirdly, as I said earlier, participate in Olympiads because that, that will definitely improve the whole situation. Yeah. And I think that could be your message to students out there. Don't be scared when it comes to Olympiads like this. Please don't. Yeah. And uh, through the South African Challenge Mathematics yourself. Foundation, we have teacher development programs learner development programs, yeah. call us, we'd, we'd like to help. Absolutely love it. Now, the students you mentioned are writing two papers uh, today and tomorrow. That's right. Uh, what are some of the other activities planned for them throughout Well, the they course? have a number of excursions, of course. This has been going on for, for a long time, the whole organization. And last week, the jury, uh, consisting of all the leaders of the different countries, uh, they met uh, the entire last week. I was part of that meeting. It was exciting to sit yeah. there with these people, uh, we set papers and, and uh, drafted the marking, marking, marking memoranda. So uh, tomorrow and, and Wednesday, they'll be writing the, the, the question papers and then the coordination starts. Mm. The, 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 the people marking these, uh, these inputs yeah. from, from the youngsters. And on Saturday night, we have the closing ceremony where all prizes will be awarded. Brilliant. Very, very exciting. Professor, thank you so much for joining us and giving us again a little bit of a peek into what this, uh, this Olympia is all about. And it sounds all very, very exciting. Thank you once again for coming Thank you. In. Thank you. Nice and uh, that was Professor Johan Engelberg, president of the South African Mathematics Foundation, talking about the International Mathematical Olympiad currently taking place. And we do wish the six South Africans taking part all the best of luck. They are going to make us proud. I know it's already. We're going to be taking a very quick ad break. We'll see you on the other side.